So welcome back guys, let's talk about anemia in pregnancy. So this is a major obstetric problem and degree of anemia is characterized by mild anemia, that is hemoglobin levels between 8 and 10, moderate anemia that is 6 to 8, severe anemia that is 4 to 5, and uh, very severe anemia when you're having anything below 4. So in severe anemia, the pregnancy is in danger of abortion, premature labor, or uh, interuterine fetal death. While in very severe anemia, the mother's life is also in danger. So most cases are due to iron deficiency resulting from dietary deficiency or blood loss from hookworms, infections, hemolysis due to malaria and sickle cell disease. So anemia may also be due to uh, folate deficiency resulting to inadequate intake. Uh, so iron deficiency and folic acid deficiency often occurs together causing uh, dimorphic anemia. So clinical features include generalized weakness, dizziness, pallor, and edema may also occur, while hemolytic anemia may be associated with jaundice and uh, hepatosplenomegaly. So investigations include a full hemogram to check out the HB levels, PCV, and PBF. Uh, so for hook, uh, hookworm over and uh, schistosomal uh, over where applicable so urine, urobilinogen and uh, schistosomal over where is also applicable blood cells for malaria parasite and sickle cell uh, test management is basically by raising the HB oral or parenteral hemanetics transfusion is also important Eradicate cases where dietary deficiency is involved. We treat malaria as per course and treat hookworms. We give hemanetics in dietary deficiency if it exists. Uh, we also prevent uh, recurrence. How do we prevent this? By basically giving prophylaxis iron throughout pregnancy, uh, anti malarial prophylaxis. Uh, balanced diet and a routine antenatal screening for past visits and visits near town. Thank you very much.